Hey guys, what's going on everybody? My name is What's Going On. Check it out, ladies and gents. We are back at it again with another Lego Batman movie set review. And today we'll be taking a look at set number 70914, Bane's Toxic Truck Attack, or Bane Treadmarked. Treadmarked? Yeah, that's a new thing. Trademarked. Toxic Truck Attack. It is a 366 piece set and it is by far the weirdest Lego Batman movie set that I've reviewed so far on the channel and you'll see exactly why in just one moment. So let's remove the box because that's kind of boring to look at and we want to take a look at the set itself. So here are all of the components of the set. We're going to run through them one by one and I will explain exactly why I find this set to be so peculiar and so particularly strange. So let us begin with the least of our troubles, and that is the little Batcopter. I have to say that this thing is super lame, and I really, really dislike saying that, because I try to always find the good in things and try to figure out, like, okay, well, maybe this thing is cool, or that's cool, but I just feel like this thing is super duper rickety. I don't like the color scheme, like, there's so many different colors going on. I don't understand why this piece had to be the light gray that they chose. It just really stands out like a sore thumb. I think the black and red could have really worked well, but the problem is then you have dark grays all throughout the wheel choices are kind of lame i mean i don't know there's just nothing redeeming to this thing personally i guess except for the fact that you can do that and go woo so that's sort of fun the batman figure fits there nicely as well so that's kind of neato so our next brick built component is going to be uh, this thing right here, which is actually pretty cool. I really do like this thing quite a, uh, quite a bit. And essentially the way that it works is by tapping the little uh, hazardous sign right here, you can go on ahead and launch toxic or venom cans, which are of course the toxic component that Bane himself would utilize. So you can go on ahead and load those up and then kablam, send them flying. And you do get two of them, which is really cool. It is a really nice build and this is probably Probably as lame as it sounds. I'll, let's get to the next vehicle and then I'll decide whether or not this thing is my favorite brick built component out of the entire bunch. And so we have the final component, which is of course Bane's six wheeler truck I guess we would call this thing and I have to say I really love the color choice on this I love all the sticker work because it actually looks terrific the problem with it is of course it's stickers I wish it wasn't stickers but I really do like that element and I will say that a lot of the vehicle I really do like like the idea of having six wheels and the play feature of being able to like rise the vehicle so you can get over different terrains and such so if you were to let's say here's just a Dragon Ball Z game, you would be able to drive along that and then push the vehicle on top of that. So I think that that's really cool and I think that that play feature is actually quite neat, but I'm just not particularly fond of the of the scale of the vehicle and I'm not particularly fond of the idea that this is the main part in a set that I think in Canada retailed for, I want to say $50 or something like that, maybe even more than that. So that definitely makes this set quite, quite pricey and not particularly worth it. But of course, if we were to introduce, for example, components like this into the entire uh, equation, like the big fig of Bane, which I think is probably my favorite or second most favorite big figure that they've ever made, Lego as a company as a whole, which is just awesome looking. I really, really love this design quite a bit. And then there's another figure, which we'll get to in just one moment that we will discuss that also is very, very, very cool. Now, again, it is really cool that the uh, figure or the big fig can actually drive, quote unquote, to the vehicle, even though he's just kind of sitting atop there while you would have a driver in the form of someone else, who again, I have mentioned before, but we will look at in just one second. Uh, and then, of course, Bane can go on ahead and use his little target pointer right here to fire these off. Now, this is another thing that I like these. Like, it's cool. Like, I'm trying to prevent them from all flying everywhere. Uh, but as you fire them off, the problem with these, like, extra toxic canisters that they've done, and they try to get you to put them in place, like, across. Like, don't just put them one at a time, but try to, like make them separated by one stud like that. The problem is these fall out of here extremely easily and I can't tell you how many times they've gone flying everywhere. It's a cool idea. The problem is the, the execution is absolutely horrendous, at least in my case, where this is just not strong enough and the pressure of holding those canisters, they keep popping everywhere and because they are held by pressure, they flick and they go flying everywhere, which is really, really annoying and quite frustrating to deal with. But other than that, it certainly is 
quite the cool vehicle. So let's talk minifigs, or I guess also big figs in the case of Bane. And with that in mind, I guess we'll start with Batman here, since uh, been there, done that sort of thing. Of course, it's a pretty standard fare, a Lego Batman, Batman figure. Of course, we've got the belt detail, the nice cape there, and we do have an additional option for the face if we wanted to go on ahead and use that expression. So that is definitely quite cool, but really not too much special there. Then we have Bane himself here, who is just looking absolutely ridiculously awesome. I love the assembly on his back here for his Venom Toxin backpack, which just looks so very, very, very cool. It is far more detailed than I ever thought or hoped they would have done, so I think that that is terrific. And that really is the standout of this entire set, is this Bane fig, because for me, it kind of starts making the set worth it. The problem is that you start realizing you've basically paid an insane amount of money for what essentially is one fantastic big fig. And then, in addition to him, we have the mutant leader here, who is looking super duper cool as well. And really, it's just much more so an element of I never thought this would ever, ever, ever happen, where we would get a Mutant Leader official release from LEGO of all companies. Because if you've read The Dark Knight Returns, which is quite possibly the most famous Batman graphic novel or Batman storyline of all time, you'll know that the Mutant Leader and that entire comic book is not particularly family friendly or anything like that. So it's just absolutely insane that we are getting and have gotten an official release and you could go to a store any big giant big box store and walk in and be like, oh, there's a mutant leader Lego figure on store shelves. That is insanely cool. And just for that alone, I'm really, really excited that this set exists. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's review. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button down below. Again, as I said before, it is a very, very peculiar set because, again, the vehicle is cool and this thing is horrendous. This thing is all right and these two components are incredible, whereas Batman, well, it's, it's another Batman fig, so not particularly exciting there. I was just hoping that this set would have contained a far better and cooler Batman vehicle, and if it did, then this would have been an absolute must pick up. Otherwise, you really do have to be a big fan of either Bane or this particular big fig, or the absolute insanity that we got a mutant leader figure as an official release. Thanks all for watching. I will hopefully catch you guys here next time. Peace out. I'll see you later, alligators. Bye bye, everyone.